Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where together we're going to be jumping straight into the Bitcoin price action and going over this local move to the upside. I'll of course be explaining my Bitcoin positions and how I'm looking to trade this over the next few days to come. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this video, sit back, relax and absorb all the information that I'm going to be giving to you as of course I am going to be keeping this one very professional and concise. So yeah, let's just get straight into what you're here for and that is the Bitcoin trading and analysis. So I'm going to pick up right where I left off yesterday's video, where obviously we were talking about uh, la, 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 the Bitcoin bounce from the exact dollar point of control. This one was obviously really special. We had that point of control marked out in advance and the way that we then came down over the next 12 hours and we hit that to the exact dollar. And, you know, this really is the reason why you got a long setup and we are getting this pump today. OK, so you can just see here, let me just explain really the past 24, 48 hours. So of course, we got our first initial move to the upside, back tested our daily to the exact dollar, another move to the upside, back test the point of control to the exact dollar, and then we rehold the weekly as support. And while we're holding this weekly as support, all eyes for me were on the DXY and the ES. DXY is inversely correlated with Bitcoin and the ES is a direct correlation. So if the DXY falls, we expect Bitcoin to rise. If the ES rises, we expect Bitcoin to rise. OK, so after back testing the point of control to the exact dollar, which I did say gave a long entry. OK, had a short from the high and a long then from the low. Of course, I'm out of that short now and I've still got my long open, still got that long running. I had no reason to close that. Of course, I do have a reason to close the short. Um, so now I'm in that long. And after holding this weekly, my eyes were on, once again, the ES and, and the DXY. And today we started to get that move. And I just want to show you real quickly for one minute, my posts from this morning inside of my group. OK, and it was off of this one minute chart that we had. The DXY was falling. So I'm expecting another rise on the ES and Bitcoin. So I'm looking at the DXY falling. So I got to expect higher on the ES and BTC, right? This is the chart. View. This is a one minute chart. Well, then we look at this. We actually got it. OK, we got the rise on the ES. Bitcoin slowly lagging behind. But nevertheless, we, you know, we wait another, you know, 10 or so minutes. And there you go. You then got the rise on Bitcoin. You got the rise on the ES and you got the fall on the DXY. OK, and how powerful is that? Using the cor correlations to predict the future. Exactly as predicted. OK, so it's a matter of fact of seeing the other markets and understanding what this means for the ES and BTC. Understanding I'm expecting higher on the ES, thus expecting higher on BTC. And we're looking for, you know, the drop is occurring here on the DXY. So the DXY really was the leading indicator this morning. All I needed to do was look at the DXY to know what was happening next on Bitcoin and the stock market. And then we, we saw it on both. And of course, now Bitcoin has got its continued move to the upside currently around this DNPOC zone, right? OK, so this is the first level that we're at, literally, as, as we're speaking. And then we obviously got our large levels of resistance above us, which coming in at around $20,000. OK, here we have value area highs, NPOCs on the weekly, on the daily, um, you know, the psychological level itself. So, of course, we're at the NPOC right now. And then if we are able to clear this, you know, 20K is obviously big. Um, and then really, for me, this is like the make or break zone, because if we reject at this 20K zone, remember, this is a zone, right? This is this is a zone. Not nothing at sort of exact dollar, but this is our zone of resistance. Thus, naturally, I'm going to be looking to sure my resistance is right. But if we flip resistance into support, okay, so if we manage to like what happens here, right? So this is, ladies and gentlemen, please pay very close attention. This is resistance off of the weekly, right? Resistance off of the weekly. And then we go from resistance into then finding support off the weekly. So this is what we call a resistance into support flip this is bullish right and you can see this very 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 clearly let me just highlight it one more final time resistance broken back tested as support held subsequent move to the upside ladies and gentlemen i've told you you have to lose your biases you have to lose your wants and desires or what you think is going to happen in trading and trade the chart trade the chart if you traded the chart truly you would have realized that this is leading to a move to the upside when you take into consideration the DXY and the stock market, right? This is leading to Bitcoin rising in price. Of course, I've been taking some scope shorts over the last few days. Even today, I've taken some shorts. Okay, this is my current, how it's going right now. Today, I've taken three wins and three losses. 
course, all the shorts I've taken have ended in losses. So three wins, three losses. But nevertheless, it's still ending with $6,000 net profit so far today. And this just goes to show you don't need to win every single trade to make money. Of course, this is for a relatively low amount of money. But nevertheless, it's the showing you you don't need to be winning every trade. You can take losses. What you need to do is the risk management. Have the wins big and the losses small. Then you can withstand some losses. It's totally par and normal of the game. You're going to take losses. It's impossible to win every single trade. Even me, I'm taking losses every single day, right? But what am I doing? I'm consistently making more money than I'm losing. Yes, that means I'm winning and I'm losing, but my winners are much bigger than my losses. And thus, overall, I'm able to continuously make money day in, day out. OK, and that is highly down to my plans and risk management. OK, having the risk management in place to withstand these type of trading days. OK, and then obviously the trading setups, understanding what's going to be happening with my levels with my technical analysis. OK, the confluence for me right now is very strong when it comes to the DXY and the, and the ES. And this gives us my next level to the upside. And just like I'm saying here, this is resistance at the time. Yeah. And this is an acceptable level to short. But then you come down and you hold support where this is obviously granting long opportunities, take profits on shorts, you rise once more. And then at this point, you have a short from the high, long from the low, of course, stopped out of that short still have the long running from the POC. And what I'm saying here is when we come up to this resistance, we're obviously generally looking for our rejection, right? But if we are able to blast through this and then flip and hold it as support, well, then you have this scenario again. This is resistance currently. We look for shorts. But if we flip that into support, then we can look up to like $21,000. Well, really $20,700 to $21,000. Yeah, we really could be at $21,000 by the you know, <laughs> next few weeks, right? So it's, it's not impossible. All that needs to happen is we need to see in the charts if we flip this resistance into support, and if we flip, even if we clear this NPOC currently, right? So it's level to level trading. We do not need to know what's going to happen next. All we need to know is our levels, high probabilities, and then we're able to predict the future. But this is, again, on a one-minute chart. It's a lot easier to predict to predict the future on a one minute chart than it is on like a one day chart because there's a lot more variables that come into play on a daily chart than the one minute which is just you know you just got the, your, your price action your order flow and, and that's about it um so yeah this is the way that i'm currently trading it i've given you my next level here to the upside the current level that we're at right now and how we have to be aware of things such as resistances flipping into support we look at resistance and we look to take those shorts first of all but then if we flip it into support we have to know with our risk management in place how to lose egos you know you cannot have an ego in trading you cannot be thinking oh, i have to be right now you have to lose your ego lose that sort of belief that you need to know what's happening next no you don't need to know what happens next to make money in trading you just need to know your levels you need to know your take profits you need to know your invalidation and your stop losses and that's why even with this sort of you know, three wins, three losses, you can still make money at the end of the day, even with a 50% or lower win rate if you have good risk management, right? So that's that. I really wanted to explain that today. I really wanted to explain, you know, how you have to stay focused on the charts. As we always say at Chart Champions, trade the charts. And, you know, that's that's going to be what's going to be really aiding you to make money. Again, you can see the respect of the technical analysis exact dollar low off the daily, exact dollar low off the point of control, flipping the weekly into support, seeing the confluence with the other markets, getting that move to the upside, exactly as predicted. Okay, so if you want to see this sort of live in the time live trading, then today we had another live, you know, we're getting more and more live trading sessions is what people want right now. So today there was another live trading session with Victor and George, their first live trading sessions together. So um, yeah, if you want to catch us for the like the live trading on a live stream, where you then get talked through the price action live in the time, then of course, this is what you get over at the champions group. This is where you get to see the thought process, the entry, the reasons for the entry, reasons for the stop loss, reason for the take profit. You can understand all of that in the time, how the risk management is working. OK, there was a very, very big focus today on risk management and, you know, entering the trades and then explaining how that risk management works. OK, so if you want to see the live trading, this is what we got for the champions at chartchampions.com. Obviously, for the contenders and champions, you've got all the theory, you've got all the um, from the vault, you've got all of our templates and cheat sheets. You've got all the courses and then the, the condensed speed runs. So if you want to catch those new live trading series, and obviously you can get that over on our website at chartchampion.com. And uh, yeah, for me, that's going to be me signing out. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoyed this video. Hopefully I've explained well enough why we can be looking for this higher price to come. 
And yeah, we, you have to be judging the reaction off of there. If we blast through, then yeah, we, we could be heading towards $21,000 if we reject. Obviously, we could be looking for our local pullback. For me, let's keep an eye on the ES. Let's keep an eye on the DXY. If you need some help with that, then of course, I could be giving you my updates uh, over in the Discord. That's also for the champions. For everybody else, I hope that you've thoroughly enjoyed this video. <laughs> let's keep on going with these exact dollar moves. I hope that you've thoroughly enjoyed. If you have, you know what to do. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video that we make. Thank you ever so much, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you've enjoyed, and I will catch you over in the next video or in the Discord. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. And I'll end with the really quick disclaimer, and that is, of course, this is not financial advice, entertainment, educational video only, and all our trades are on the paper demo trade accounts. Cheers, everybody. Thank you, and goodbye.